And here's a fortification from Radiant. Dire structures are fortified.
think you're going? I feel like the stacks are going to be a bigger factor for Neon, especially with Luna. They are collapsing onto Mikado. Control does not connect. Gets just enough mana and has the Rolling Thunder ready to go. So we will roll on to Bombi. Hammers two, hammers three, and one more cleans up. Mikado gets first blood. First blood at six minutes, roughly. Power rune, is it going to be in his favor? No, it's not. It's going to be down south. Invis rune at the ready, so you can be able to pick that up for himself. Top though, Chidori's been left alone. Skewer back away from the tower into DJ's arms with a lift back as well. And Chidori is gonna fall. DJ finds it with a bloodstone, I believe. Uh, the blood grenade, I believe, is Bombi. We get another stack out anyway. The so man should keep building up here and Mikado will finally start to clear, but JG is on hand. Get the chains off. We'll be able to find Paulson. Chop him down. The healing not enough on the edge and now they'll commit for the take. Can there be a counter fight? Rolling Thunder ready to go. They're trying to clear out the large camp. They will find most of it. They will find all of it. And Cutter's rolling up to get the lift RP onto just the dark. Whoa, Matza. Coming in hard just to find Bombi. We'll find it. Shidori stuck in the middle does not have Eclipse. And here comes Jackie as well. They find Castaway. Ken? Chrono up. Is there enough damage? Can they get the chainstone off? They don't have the lift off cooldown, but he remnants onto Mikado. Remnant down again, but Masaros is tracking. They find Ken. JG. The only one to bail out all of that for large camp stacks. Leader doing a great job of just invading the triangle every so often with Paulson. They can just ensure they can stack out of their stacks. Scout out of their stacks. They do manage to catch Mikado now. Soulbind not really doing much. The Swatch is there. Ken's out of mana from that defusal, and DJ finds it. We look back. Can they find more? JG in the middle. Chop away. Have a Swatch. To oh, Screw Back does not connect. Masa misses out. Now the RP. Oh, it did not go off. Chrono out from Jackie catching too. Eclipse is gone. CDR up front in the middle of all of this. The Doom Manch get the Inkspell off, but the Enchant is there along with the healing. That was the healing coming out. It was a double kill. Nature's attendance coming up to just sustain through. And that is three for one coming in favor of Bleed. Masaros, the only casualty. This is a really good game right now for Bleed. Masa, they find Castaway with Mikoto and he will just take it by himself. Masa, a gentleman, does not interfere. He's going to be able to run and try to contest the rune. Will they be able to find it? Is luck on their side? No, it isn't. That's on the other side. Regen rune so pivotal. DJ. Does have some lift back and will be able to steal that region away. Might be able to find DJ in exchange, but no man on Ken. Masaros, he's here watching. He's watching. He misses out. Masa, not finding the angle there. I mean, even at this state, like he does a lot of damage, would veil up. Although I say that JG swashed in, bashed up, is gone. Paulson takes that one. Gonna try to force out the deny. Chains are out on Paulson. He should get chopped down here as the inch. Will there be backup? Is he? Yeah, no, he's gone. Chopped away with a slight of fist. It's gonna be a little bit rougher. Double damage. I love these things. RP was out. Masa catches one. Catches Ken. That's the lockdown they need for the Ember. Amplified damage on Mikado as well to ensure that the job is done quick and clean. Chidori pops the Eclipse, only reach really catches Paulson. DJ is caught on the edge now. It has to chance out. You know what, the backline being torn apart. Chidori has no play without that Eclipse left alone. Stolen Lucid Beam from DJ cleans up. 
Three for one. Again, only sacrificing Bambi. Taking over that top jungle as well. Chrono still at the ready. DJ spots Bambi for a moment, but if not going to commit for that one just yet. Pato, you will stop. Then try to bramble him up as well and try to rip him apart. They have the damage. But Mikado has the shield crash and the roll. It's going to be, be going to be able to bail out. Good disengage from the side of Bleed. Still have a Chrono counterplay if they want to come back into this. Looks like they are considering. Jackie does get chained away. Does get the Chrono off. Trying to go for the Timbersaw. Really tanky target, but they'll, play, they'll even find Castaway inside anyway. Jackie gets that kill onto Castaway. Mikado cleans up. JG. Ken, the last member left standing, has to remnant backwards, but are setting up for it. Mikado does set up early. Haste is there, but the Lucent Beam again from DJ. Can they get more control? Can they find it? Swash does miss. Remnant down from Ken. DJ still playing poke. Ken, still playing tag, does not win that game. And bleed 18 to 5. Nothing down south, nothing up north, nothing to give them any clue as to what to do with a smoke. A little bit of a chase onto Masa up top. They do manage to get the Yules off. And a full combination off. Can they kill him? Does Masa care? He will die, but they lose a tier 2. But the loser tormentor in the process will get a free shard on DJ. That's pretty massive. Slowly trickling in with the TPs. They are still getting Ken just pushing in mid. They will find Castaway. Unceremoniously finding that kill. Jackie doesn't truly care. He might have to considering the damage he is sustaining. Chrono does fly on and he'll just find Chidori. He does not care. He just wants Chidori gone. He will be able to find that kill. Now the RP chaining down Ken. And he still have the Aegis. Mikado in the back rolling like a madman. Might be the one left for the wolves here. Fear out. The damage is coming through. The chains up as well. Mikado can he live? Can he swap? No. They managed to push him back as well. That looked like a psychic headband kick. They will be able to find that kill onto Mikado. They are forcing the buybacks. A massive streak coming away of Castaway. Bleed is still hanging in this area, getting surrounded. Scouted out by the illusions here from Ken. And Ken does manage to get the chains onto two. Masa will just skewer away. Ken still wanting to try to slight this not. It's a tough time, but they will net it somewhat, and they will find Masa. So two kills for the buyback. Do manage to find something. DJ wants this. Let's have Bedlam. DJ really wants this. DJ might not want to want this. Let's get the Bedlam off. DJ's gone. A uh, little bit divey. A little bit keen. Masa going for the BKB. And the high ground begins once again onto that tier 3 top. Just gone. Fortify is going to be back up for these racks. They are jumping DJ, but does he care? No. That's just a lot of space. Fortify to stall. Chrono is ready. Masa is ready with a... Oh, okay. Skewer back interrupted as the chain did still manage to come on. And the high ground push is actually held back. They're ensuring that they're not going to get jumped. And they, they, they're they playing fine. No. Uh, okay, Jackie goes crazy. Chrono onto one. Doesn't pop the BKB. They need the chain control for Ken. He does just remnant away. A little bit greedy not going for the BKB early on. Jackie, they miss out now. Chidori goes for the BKB as well. So the skewer back with that harpoon does not connect. Ken. Playing tag again. Sees Masa. Chains out immediately. BKB out on Masa. RP instantly out. Do they have enough? They've got the impetus shots. Flying across the map. Is Ken going to be fine? Does have a remnant and remnants into it. They will find Bond. Let's jump forward. Chrono on to two. No, not enough damage to kill off Chidori. BKB pop early as well. Chidori is going to be fine. Still has the Eclipse to play with. RP on the back. They keep Ken controlled up. And the Chakram from DJ is enough. Meanwhile, Mikado ripping up that back line, making the Kalish for JG. Castaway, not safe here. Soulbind onto one, Chidori. Getting the butterflies there, but he's not able to do anything. 
buyback on Castaway. Chidori being held back. Eclipse does fly out now. But Masa does not care. Pops his BKB on the retreat. JG going really far forward. Getting bashed up. Does manage to chain forward. Does not connect onto Masa fully. As Jackie is the one going forward onto Chidori. Can they damage out Chidori? He just does fall, but they find that kill. No buyback. Castaway die back already. Ken trying to salvage. Just looking for Masa. We'll find him. Chains. Remnants forward, but he's gone as well. No buybacks, and the GG's called. Bleed take it to 2-0 up against Neon Esports. And what a fantastic game from Bleed. Big congratulations to Bleed as well for making it into the closed qualifiers here for the Southeast Asian qualifiers for ESL 1 